Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SME United. My name is Alan No, your speaker of today. Today is May Day. May Day, 1st of May, 1st of May. <laughs> so before I start, uh, uh, my producer always remind me that uh, to please subscribe our YouTube channel and like our Facebook. Uh, producer, uh, Jose, Jose, you want to say something? Okay, good afternoon. SME is a platform for SMEs and entrepreneurs to for exchange and collaboration. Mm -hmm. And we share different ideas to go digital with technology and innovation in order to thrive and excel in this volatile environment. Ah, uh, breaking news. <laughs> what is the breaking news? Yes. Uh, uh, today our, our topic is 12 strategies to set up a company successfully actually we break into two parts uh, today is part one uh, tomorrow 2 p.m same time so we have um, uh, part two for the 12 strategies to set up a company so don't miss it today i introduce you two person the first person is Bill Gates. I mean, everybody know Bill Gates, right? You know, when he born, he was born in 1955, 28 October. So when he was young, his parents actually want him to be a lawyer. Yeah, <laughs> Bill Gates want to be a lawyer. It doesn't look like. But his interest is in computing, in his programming. So in 1973, he enrolled to Harvest college he's very good in the academic to study law no wonder after two years he left the university and set up a company called microsoft so bill gates actually believed that everyone everybody in this world should own a computer and probably use windows as an operating system so he's correct i mean 10 or 20 years ago so many years ago he already foresee that everybody had one computer i have one or more than two <laughs> So at this moment, Bill Gates is one of the richest men in the world because he set up a company called Microsoft. The other person, 
Jack Ma. I think you know Jack Ma, right? In Mandarin, he called Ma Yun. It's it actually is from China. So Jack Ma was born in 10 of September, not not 11 September, 10 of September, 1964, almost my age, right? So he studied in Hangzhou Normal University. He studied business administration. So after graduate and like everyone, uh, we, you go to apply job. He applied 30 different jobs and all rejected. Uh, one day he's so excited and feel happy because KFC came to his city and recruit. So same now, uh, he also went for interview. There are 24 people inter got the interview from KFC in 23 of them are accepted and only one are rejected. That is him himself. <laughs> Jack Ma got rejected. It's his only one. So he's so disappointed. What he need to do is, okay, I'm not going to work for anyone. I'm going to set up my company. So Jack Ma actually set up Alibaba Grow. Alibaba, right, is very popular. And he believed e-marketplace for information and an open economy. Everyone can be boss, just subscribe uh, Alibaba and they can sell online and then deliver us on, uh, by logistic company. So Jack Ma is now one of the richest men in the world and also the second richest man in China with net worth of 42.1 billion. Wow, what is this? What is the number is it? So both Bill Gates and Jack Ma are successful and become one of the richest men in the world. But they need to set up a company in order to be successful. So today we share 12 strategies to set up a company successfully in Singapore. But before I move on, I want to introduce another person called Manchus. Manchus is from China, definitely. It was born like two, 272 BC, it's almost like 2,700 years ago. He, he, you, you may not know who is Manchus, but you should know who is Confucius, right? Confucius actually, uh, Manchus is actually man, uh, Confucius student, student, and student, and student. <laughs> four generation student of Confucius. So in his time, it's a warring states period, meaning it's a time for uh, uh, for war, Zhan Guo Shi Dai. So everywhere are war. There's so many rulers, they want to win. So Manchus actually travel around China and offer his strategies and tactics to the rulers for them to be successful during the war time. He, he's, he promotes three keys to success, time, environment, and human factors. So he said, number one factor is a human. When people are work together and united uh, with subordinate or director, so the company probably will be successful. The second one is favorable environment. Like what, what is the society? What, what the people like? What is the market? So this is the favorable uh, uh, environment to support whether you're successful or not. Across the other, the other one is timing, like like timing. I will share a story later. I mean tomorrow, borrow Eastern Wing Kong Ming because it's time that we make hero. So human environment, right time. Whether how this align with the trail strategies to set our company successful. First step to be successful is to sell up your company. The first thing of course in your mind when you sell out company, what kind of business you need to jump in? You need to open a company and do business, right? Like a Jack Ma would say, I, I would do uh, uh, e-marketplace to sell out Alibaba. So what is your business you want to sell out? It must be something you know about it. Like if I'm a farmer, of course I know farming very well. So I go and farm, like, like grow rice, I, I farm fish or so if I'm an accountant, I'm an accountant. So uh, I will have, have a business for accounting business, auditing, consulting uh, or, or IT. Now I'm doing a cloud-based accounting. So it must be something you know about it. You can't be a farmer to be an accountant or accountant become a farmer, right? <laughs> 
So you must know the business, then you go and do it. The second one is that you have the passion. Like for example, you 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 don't like 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 farming life. You don't like to handle insect, chemical, fertilizer. You don't go to do a farming business. Uh, you love numbers like me. Then you go and do accounting or or data scientist. You must have something you are passionate about it. Of course, it must be profitable. Get your business plan to understand what is the income, what is your net profit and expenses. You must gather all this kind of information and do your business plan before you start a business. So you get an accountant like me to do a business plan for you, lah. <laughs> so and also must be benefit to you. Of course, I want to make money. That's why I want to open a company. Also have to benefit to the world. Like Jack Ma, I say, oh, okay, I sell a company, I want money, but at the same time, he he create a platform, uh, for e market, so everyone can be uh, a boss, just sell our company in in Alibaba and they sell the product instantly, so they benefit to the whole world, especially now, COVID nineteen solitary time, everybody at home, how to shop, <laughs> so you go to Lassander and buy whatever you want, right? Or you, you go to Prime or Amazon to buy things. Uh, this is the thing you benefit the world, not only yourself. Then when we move on, you have a vision of what kind of business you want to do. Then you move on. Mm, you have to apply a company name in Accra. Then you must put the activities code. This called SSIC, Singapore Standard Industrial Code. So what what do we, what does it mean? So it means you you need to have a activities code. So my suggestion is to get a code activities primary and secondary to fit to your uh, to your business. If you're doing consulting, you do just get a consulting related uh, a code. Or you doing wholesale, then you get a code for wholesale. But if you haven't designed what kind of product you want to sell. So you cannot just aga to say or oh, wholesale uh, and retailing business on uh, uh, electronic product, but you're not selling electronic product. So you get some code. They will say the wholesale or uh, retail business or product without a unique product. I think they got a lot of flexibility for you to expand your scope. Uh, for me as a consultant, second uh, activities I will sell things. I mean, who knows? One day I will sell a lot of product. So be flexible and fit to your uh, vision. The case study, the business and ethics. Mm, headache, right? So should we be honest or should, should we go for shortcut and in order to make a lot of money? Yeah, I heard a lot of story and people uh go for shortcut and they somehow cheat like enron enron is like a uh, big case they cheat like they they they, they falsify the financial statement they they work together with third party to destroy data uh, document in order to tell the whole shareholders it's like i'm making money actually it's not true like currently there is a coffee company in china same they fabricate the numbers so you mean yeah, if you really go shortcut, probably you will earn a lot of money in short time, but you may close down the company very fast. So that's why we're talking about sustainability. As an accountant, my advice is must be ethical. <laughs> okay, strategy three entity. This is a long story. Like you when you sell our company, then there's a lot of choices. You can be a sole proprietorship, you can be a, a partnership, company limited, private limited, or even an NGO like a society or company limited by guarantee. So which entity you want to choose? For me, lower liability and lower cost. So lower liability means is some of the organization set up is to say that is their liability is limited or some of the setup is the liability is unlimited. I don't know why you want to set up a company with liability unlimited. One case you have you are gone. Unlimited liability meaning is like 
no matter how capital you, you, you put in the company, you have to pay the liability by selling your property, selling everything in your life, even your bank account, everything. Limited liabilities is like register a company, I put $1. Then your liability is only one dollar when you wind up the company. So must choose your company wisely. So Ellen, so what what company entity I should choose? I just give you some some example if you want to sell a company. Please come to me. I'm a company secretary. I'm a registered filing agent. So proprietorship and LP. LP means uh. Uh, limited partnership, uh, uh, limited liability partnership. So, of course, if you look at the liability, yes, LLP is the best. Uh, if the cost, I, I don't find a lot of differences because you all partnership, you go back to your personal account. So, probably you, the, your, your money is spent a little bit for accounting. So, I choose LLP, not so for partnership. Exam private limited and private limited. Uh, they are both limited liability. That means you register one dollar, you will only pay one dollar when you wind up. But exam private limited, no auditor. Uh, but private limited, you must have auditor. So the auditor fee is around every year two to five thousand dollars. It's up to you which auditor you 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 choose. I mean, I have a very good auditor, a panel auditor. The, the good and cheap. So if you want it, let me know. So of course, if your business won't go up to five million, then you just take the exam private limited, no auditor, the fee is lesser. Society and company limited by guarantee. Let's say I want to sell a foundation. Yeah, I have a foundation uh, uh, for charities, um, uh, charity uh, uh, purposes. So society, you need 10 directors with unlimited directors limited liabilities how <laughs> to find 10 people and they and tell them that you, you if anything happen you have to liable to all liability anything happen you sell your house you sell your blah, blah, blah. so if you can find 10 member and for, for the society yeah go ahead but if you don't you can't find you only have your you yourself and and your uh, business partner you set up an NGO yeah company limited by guarantee is better because the liability is limited. Ah. So it's up to you, but for me is please, la, I don't want to sell my house. Strategy four, director. Now, just now I mentioned the three strategy is more to environment, like, and also the person who decide what kind of business we could go in, you know. But this director factor is really 100% human factor. Because you, you want to build up your team, the first thing is to get your director first. So what directors do you want to choose? Of course, uh, someone supporting you, right? You don't want to like, go to the uh, board meeting uh, every time they argue with you, they disagree with you. What point to get a director? What do you have a different opinion? You want to do a farming business and he wants to be an accountant. Uh, don't, don't argue on this. You, he must align and support your vision. I, I want to do... Uh, a cloud-based accounting business. Okay, you get someone have the same vision to support you. It's a comrade. It's like I jump, you jump. You know, I extend, you extend. <laughs> Something like that. Share your mission and vision. Don't 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 get someone always argue with you. Argue maybe positively, but not someone always don't agree with you. And you get a finance guy in your board. Also quite good because he will manage your finance and come up your business plan. He or charge. Now, case study. Do you want a husband and wife to go to the same board? I mean, it's like both your, your wife and you are directors and you have meeting in, in the board and make decision. Do you want it or not? You ask me. <laughs> uh, you say you wake up, after you uh, wake up, you, your wife beside you. You go to the office, your, your wife sit beside you. You go for lunch, your wife will have lunch with you. <laughs> After after work at home, also your wife cook for you. Night time to sleep beside you, also your wife. Come on, you want this or not? I'm not saying your wife is not loving. It's very good to have your wife, but 
be better to separate it, especially when you have a fight. Oh my God, how can you put the emotional element in your business? So separate it, maybe your wife can be shareholders. The other one is how many directors? How many you want? One director, you, you yourself? Oh, I think one one person. I if I want to have more more opinion, then I myself I, I don't I don't think I, it worked for me. How about two two person? You say when when there's a voting, then uh, one or agree, one object. Then how is the solution? Let's say you have four, same uh, two two. Then how a lot of company cannot move or have to stop the business because they can't make the decision on what kind of business they want to be in. So I suggest is odd number, any number about three, three, five, seven. I, I never, I seldom see director more than seven. Easy for you to 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 make decision. Now come to strategy five. Also a human factor. Uh, just I mentioned who should be your shareholders. You look around. Who should be your shareholders? Of course, someone they are rich, they have money, you know. You cannot get a shareholder say, hey, come on, I heard video up before. Like, I want to be your shareholder, but I need to borrow money from the bank. No, you don't borrow money and then you become a shareholder. Or I say, Alan, can I be a shareholder? But I don't give you cash. Can can I uh, become your uh, shareholder and then I deduct in future, I deduct from your profit? No, don't do that. <laughs> you must get someone is rich. And someone believe in you, your strategies in investment. You know, he believe he only want to make money, right? The shareholders. Then, then he know. Okay, you are doing farming business now. Nowadays, do we think it's a potential? Yes, you can get a lot of grant from government and then start your farming business in Singapore because we need food. So, if the shareholder believe in you, they will pump in money for you. Okay, and then also the. Of shareholding structure, how many pay up capital and how many unit of share you put in your company? So, well, it is up to you, but you must be something easy for you to transfer your share, easy for you to raise fund, the structure that benefit for you to grow your business. Now, case study, unit of share, 100 share or 100,000 share, pay up capital, $1 or $100,000. Hey, Alan, you say $1 can, can, if you are pipe limited, um, you can put $1. But if you put $1, you, let's say you're doing engineering business, uh, construction, you put $1 and you get customer, then you see how, huh? My contract is $10 million, so your company only has $1 capital. So <laughs> it doesn't make sense, right? So most of the time, it, it, it depends on the, your industry. Uh, normally, I suggest you're a small company, put a few thousand dollars, uh, not, not, not much, right? Then uh, about 10,000, 100,000, so $1, um, not really professional. Okay, then Alan, how many share? 100 share or 100,000 share? Can you imagine your company have like $100,000 uh, pay up and then you have 100 share? Then you will sell 10% is 10 share. 10 share in is already $10,000. So one, one share is $1,000. So it's not difficult, it's not easy for you to raise fund. Rather than you have 100,000 units of share, when you Transfer or sell your share easy. Uh, I sell you one share, it's already like one or two dollars. So I suggest is among uh, about 10,000, at least 10,000 share. Okay, strategy six, register office. Uh, today we are sharing six strategies. This, this is the last one. When you come to the office, then when you go to Accra, they say, hey, um, can you tell me your registered office? Don't confuse that. Uh, registered office, it doesn't mean where do you work? <laughs> where do you work? You may work at home, but your office register can be in a uh, rough place. 
you just need an address you know i have a lot of supplier they, they give you an address uh in, in rahu place keep please contact me so because if you let's say like you have a quotation and send to your customer and it's a quotation about like hundred thousand uh business project and then you put the address is how gang <laughs> you put a uh, cha chu gang you know cha chu gang what happened cha chu gang i i i I just attend a funeral, actually it's a lot of graveyard there. So do you want to put an address? I love Amok Kill because I stay there. I put it's more professional to put somewhere like Raffle Place, City Hall. Uh, so uh, say I don't know anyone to supply the office, then just join one co-working space. It's a few hundred dollars a month. You can the address, you, you can the, the space. So nowadays it's so easy and convenient to sell our company work at home but it seems like your registered office is in in the city so it's almost come to the end ah summary for today right time environment and ha human harmony so the six elements I mentioned just now is basically three of them are environment factor. Three of them are human factor. So I still haven't touched the timing. So the timing factor may be more to next part, tomorrow. Uh, so it makes sense. I mean, when you have a good team like directors and shareholders, so probably you, 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 you 50% is successful already. So spend more time to think about what is your key success, your successful factor in your business. You can share with me by giving an email and write an email and share with me so I can share with other people tomorrow. Again, please. Okay, still one more thing. The quote of today, Bill Gates mentioned, this is very interesting, his understanding of success. Success is a lousy teacher. Oh my God. It seduce smart people into thinking they can't lose. Okay, then we think further, Bill Gates actually remind us when we are successful, don't be proud. We still have to think that one day, if we fail, we have to accept it and then move on. A lot of people, oh, they become successful instantly. Then when they fail, they cannot get up. So this is what I can give to you today. Remember tomorrow, okay, remember to subscribe our YouTube, like our Facebook, and as our contact. Please leave uh, email your email address to me under Alan at cloudconsulting.com so I can give you a checklist for all the details of the strategies of setting up a company successfully. So far, so good. So I see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Bye. Mm -hmm.